guys, Nerdy New Parent. Welcome back to another unboxing or unpackaging video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2018 March Ludware. I had two of these packages a while ago, but I was waiting for the third one to come in, and so it finally came in, and now we can open all of them together. One of them is already slight weight open because if you remember in February, I wasn't quite sure, or for my February ones. I wasn't quite sure which one was which. So I had to open one just to find out. If you're interested in getting lootware, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. So we're going to open this pack first. This is the one that was already open. This looks like it's a risky business package. So the first item we have is a pair of socks and these are from Back to the Future. And it says hover. It's basically like a, um, a replica hoverboard Socks. We were exclusive. Back to the future. These are licensed. I don't know who makes these. These are very thin socks. These are those really thin, like paper esque kind of socks, but they're cool. Not too shabby. Next, we have our loop tee. This is from Ready Player One. It's a navy blue shirt and it's men's medium. This is the design. How does it look? I still haven't seen this movie, although you guys said it was really good, so I think I might go and try to see it. Of course, because I haven't seen it, I don't know what this is referenced to, but what I will say is I actually like the design. I like, it feels simple. It's not too in your face. There's not too much going on, and I do enjoy that about this shirt. So hopefully when I do see the movie, I like it, and then I can rock this shirt. And then the last item in the Risky Business bundle is our Loot Undies. We got a pair of loot undies from Aliens. I get an adult small or a men's small. I, don't, I think these are men's sizes. I love these. Just in general, I like the loot underwear. They're very comfortable. I love wearing them around the house. These ones are from Alien. Not too bad. I will say that last month they gave us loot underwear. And for some reason, because I just wear these kind of like as spandexy shorts. But last month, the loot underwear had a very intense like... Uh, padded package area here which was interesting when I was wearing them I was like why are these ones like this because none of the other ones are like this one doesn't have that but for some reason last month's did and it was just kind of like a little bit weird just different all right I'm assuming I don't know which one's which what is this this is the loot wearable so let's do the loot for her so this one I think is the loot for her actually I don't I have no idea let's just open it and, and find out together shall we this, this never works. It never works. Ah. Okay. Mm, I think this is the loot for her and the loot T, because I do still get uh, the loot T, which I did cancel, so that's good. So I got another Ready Player One shirt. And then the loot for her is from Dungeons and & Dragons, and I get a women's large in the loot for her. And this is a gray, maybe long sleeve shirt. What is this? Why is this so, what is this? Look how big this is, you guys. What is this, a nightgown? Okay. Is this, <laughs> why is this, why is this so big? Anyways, here's the design. Again, it's from Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe this is like a nightgown of some sort because this thing is like humongo. Like, look how big this is. Can you guys, I don't know if you can even tell. It's just like giant. This has to be a nightgown. This has to be a nightgown. That's weird. I didn't realize people wear nightgowns anymore like this. Anyways, there's our loot for her. That's an interesting one. And then our last package is our, must be our loot wearable and our loot socks. So here we go. Oh God, are you serious? Are we being for reals right now? Okay, we got the same hoverboard socks. We got a freaking pair of BB-8 socks. I've received, I think these look a little bit different than the ones I have. I have so many BB-8 socks just because Loot Crate has been giving us BB-8 socks ever since The Force Awakens came out. Like, they must have ordered way too many BB-8 socks because I have so many pairs of BB-8 socks and I've got, them, I've got so many pairs from Loot Crate, like specifically. So they must have a lot of overstock or something. And then our Loot Wearable is from G.I. Joe. Um, it's a blue, it's like a navy blue with some camo edging to it, and I get a men's medium. 
Oh, it's a raglan tee. Okay. The raglan tee seems a little bit short lengthwise, but how is that design? This looks like something you would wear like when you go paintballing or something. Oh, you just had the little like cobra head. Okay. So that's the design and then here's the uh, kind of camo-esque. It's a very short and wide shirt, but I like raglan tee, so I'm a I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm okay with it. All right, that is all of the items. Let's go ahead and do some uh, quick pricing and recap. The theme was playback for this month, and here's our recap card. So to start off the loot wearable, I get the loot wearable and the socks bundle, and I think it ends up costing like, I wanna say it's like $23. I actually don't know, but it's not a bad bundle because if you buy them separately, socks are $10. Wearables, um, $18. So when you buy them in the combo, it's actually a good deal. I'm not a huge, f I mean, the wearable's cool, but I'm not a G.I. Joe fan, and I don't know, like, I'll probably try to wear this. I just don't know how well I'm gonna actually pull this off. In general, blue is not a good color for me. Socks wise, I actually like the hoverboard socks. What I dislike are the BB 8 socks, only because I love BB 8, but only because we've received literally so many pairs of BB 8 socks from Loot Crate, or I have. So I feel like this is just like an overstock throw in item. But pricing wise, socks are, if you buy them separately, socks are $10. You could give these maybe $10. I think the BB 8 socks are a little bit less in value. The wearable, which is normally $18. I don't know if I'd pay 18 for this, but when we buy them the bundle, it makes it a little bit better pricing, and I think that makes it a little bit more doable. The look for her, what the heck is this? Dress. Oh, it's a t-shirt dress. Okay, a t-shirt dress. Definitely not my style. I thought this was a nightgown. Okay, well, this is a t-shirt dress. Okay, that was a, uh, I don't even, I should probably pull my pricing because I have no idea how much any of this costs. Wearable and socks is $23, so um, this month, it's okay. I wouldn't rate it the highest. I'd probably give this maybe a, uh, I'd probably say a 3.75 out of 5 noobs. I'm not a, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do 3.75 out of 5 noobs. The loot for her cost $20, so it's $20 for this dress shirt. It's like a glorified nightgown. I would rate that 3.5. The loot tee, I would buy it separately where it's $12. I think you can give that $12 decent decent shirt design too. I'd give that a 4.75. The Risky Business I actually is my favorite bundle. I love the loot undies. I think I just like the loot undies in general like just because they're comfortable. I don't really care as much about the design. And you get your loot tee and your cool hoverboard socks. This cost $19. I think this is the best deal if you guys are just looking to get something small. I think this is the best bundle to get. And for this month's bundle, I would give that, that one I would rate high. I would give that a, probably a, a five. I like that one. So in total, my rating is a 4.25 out of five noobs. Um, I didn't like this month as much. I don't mind the loot tee, I like the loot undies, and then I like the hoverboard socks. The wearable and the loot for her is, is a little bit interesting for me. I don't know if I was a huge fan of those. Uh, I would definitely say that this month feels more like a miss to me than it does a hit. I think I liked last month's better, but I don't really remember. Well, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys thought about this loot wear. For some reason this month, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know, you know, which is normal. I can't feel it every month. Definitely the Risky Business bundle is my favorite, but everything else is kind of like, uh... Um, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to Al Lewis. Al, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support and I want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Al Lewis. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!